the country is slowly reopening and there are places in the Philippines that are now accepting domestic tourists. This video will list down the 23 domestic destinations that are now open for tourists this October 2021. Find out whether these destinations require RT-PCR tests upon check-in. Stay tuned and watch the video to know more. Welcome to Denzi TV. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive updates as they are posted. This is based on the information provided by Cebu Pacific Air. Please take note that these requirements are only true at the time of the posting of this video. Requirements may change without prior notice, so please check with your local government units. First on our list is Bohol via Tagbilaran City. Tourists are required to submit a negative RT-PCR swab test or a negative RT-PCR saliva test upon check-in. Please take note that a swab test or an antigen test can be done by any DOH accredited laboratory, while saliva tests should only be done by the Philippine Red Cross. Check the card at the top right corner of this video to see the complete list of Bohol travel requirements. Second destination that is open for tourists is Boracay via Katiklan, and tourists are required to submit either a swab test or a saliva test result. Number three is Butuan, and tourists can submit any of the following, a negative RT-PCR swab, saliva test, or a negative antigen test. Number 4 is Cagayan de Oro, and there is no swab test or any test requirement needed for tourists visiting Cagayan de Oro City. Number 5 is Kawayan, and tourists may submit a swab, saliva, or antigen test result. Number 6 on the list is Cebu, and for Cebu City, fully vaccinated travelers may submit an RT-PCR saliva test along with their vaccination cards. While for those who are not yet fully vaccinated, you have to submit an RT-PCR swab test or an antigen test. Check the card at the top right corner to see the complete list of Cebu requirements. Number 7 is Clark and there is no test requirement for all inbound passengers. Number 8 is Coron, Buswanga and tourists need to submit a negative RT-PCR swab test result. Number 9, Cotabato City, RT-PCR swab test or RT-PCR saliva test. Number 10 is Dumaguete City, and for fully vaccinated travelers, submit your vaccination card along with a negative antigen test result. Others need to submit a negative RT-PCR swab test result. Number 11, General Santos City. Submit either an RT-PCR swab test result or an RT-PCR saliva test result. Number 12 is Legaspi, saliva test result and swab test result. Number 13 is Manila and there is no test requirement for inbound passengers. Ozamis is also open for tourists and fully vaccinated travelers may submit their vaccination card along with a negative antigen test result, others a negative swab test or a negative saliva test result. Number 15 is Pagadian City and there is no swab test requirement for all inbound passengers. Puerto Princesa City also accepts tourists and they need to submit a negative RT-PCR swab test result. Number 17, Roja City, RT-PCR swab test result. Number 18, San Jose Mindoro, tourists need to submit a negative RT-PCR swab or a negative RT-PCR saliva test result. Number 19, Shargao, swab and saliva test result. Same with number 20, Surigao, swab and saliva test result. Number 21 is Tacloban and this is the only destination so far that does not require fully vaccinated travelers to submit any test requirement. For others, you have to submit a negative RT-PCR swab test result. 
Number 22, Tugegarao, RT-PCR swab test or antigen test result. And number 23, the last but not the least, Sambuanga City. Tourists need to submit an RT-PCR swab test result or a negative RT-PCR saliva test result. And those are the 23 open for tourist destinations in the Philippines as of October 2021. Thank you so much for watching. If you find the content of this channel valuable, remember to subscribe. Feel free to check out the other videos as well.